Uh, good morning. I hope you are still fine and uh, you did the work that I gave you yesterday. Today, I want us to see how we can find the constant of integration. We give it an arbitrary letter C. Every time you integrate, you have to put that letter or any other letter. Now, I told you earlier that given more information, you can be able to find this constant. So today I want us to see how you can find that constant. Maybe you can note this question down. The gradient of a curve is 2x minus 1. Given that the curve passes through the point 1, 2, given that the curve passes through the point 1, 2, find the equation of the curve. So in this example, the gradient is given by this equation, meaning you have been given dy over dx, which is 2x minus 1. To get y, we integrate the way we did yesterday. So when you integrate this, you will get x squared minus x as a constant c. Now this is the arbitrary constant that we want to find so that we can complete the equation now. We are told this curve passes through the point 1, 2. So when x is 1, y is 2. So you substitute this in this equation here. So you substitute and get when y is 2, x is 1. So our c is going to be 2. And the equation becomes y is equals to x squared minus x plus 2. Now you can see the equation is now complete because we know the constant is 2. So the moment you are given more information, uh, you can be able to get that constant of integration and complete the equation of the curve. A second example, if dy over dx, if dy over dx is equal to 4 minus 6x, and when y is negative 3, x is 1, find y. Find y. We just follow the same steps, yeah, like example 1. y is equal to 2. We integrate this. When you integrate 4, it means you just introduce x here. If you follow the example in the previous lesson. So 6x minus, integrate this you get 3x squared as a constant c. Then you substitute when y is negative 3, x is 1. So negative 3 is equals to plus c. And you will get c is negative 4. Then you rewrite the equation, y is equals to 4x minus 3x squared minus 4. That becomes the equation. So the moment you are given more information about the curve, especially the point or one point through which the curve passes, you can get the equation of that particular curve and you can be able to get the arbitrary constant C. I will give you more assignments. You can go and try more examples on the same and uh, you familiarize yourself uh, with this concept in a deeper way. Thank you. Have a nice day.